Whoa. Hope this, uh, hope this is working. If you hear me, do a thumbs up or hearts. I want to make sure the video, the audio is working. I'll just wait for some people to come on. For those that are watching, uh, let me know you can see me and hear me clearly, and you can see my feet because it's really hard to see on a camera, on a phone. Okay. Okay, I got a thumbs up. Great, great. So welcome everybody to the Saturday Qigong. This time I'm not doing it in the park today. I just felt like doing it in my hermit hut <laughs> in my little home. And I got a special treat for you guys. There's a Qigong style I haven't... Uh, taught probably in around five years, but it was one of my favorite ones I did for many, many years. And then I started studying other Qigong styles, and that's what I've been teaching over the years. But this one, I woke up this morning and I said, you know, I think it's time for this particular one. This one really moves emotions, especially in these times right now. I mean, we have emotions all the time, but right now in this time on the planet, what's going on with all this craziness? I think this particular Qigong I want to teach this morning, it's really going to help you a lot. And it's called the Six Healing Sounds, and it's derived from the Five Elements. And it was one I studied with Montauk Chia many years ago. And if you do this one, you're going to feel a difference, especially after today. But if you ongoing do it, you will notice something within about a week. I mean, it's just, it's, you get elated. So this is one I'm going to practice every day for a while just to get that momentum going again. But for today, we're gonna to do this one. It's beautiful, it's just such a healing one. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna open up the flows, move some stagnation, get the sleep off, get the blood flowing, get oxygenated, uh, release some of the CO2 out of the, out of the body so we can have more alkalization in the body, we can move more blood, lymph, and the meridian flows, and then we'll be able to do the Qigong, and it'll be just so beautiful, I can't wait. So we're just going to do a short one. I usually do about 20 minutes. We're going to do probably 10, 15 minute just warm up and then we'll go right into the practice because I don't know how long it's going to take us today because I haven't taught it in such a long time. So anyways, let's start off um, with your legs apart, shoulder width, slight bend in the knees so you're relaxed. You can put your hands on your hips if you got any physical issues. Or if you want an extra stretch, put your hands behind your back and hold your wrist. Look down at the earth, at the floor, wherever you're at. Inhaling, lifting up with the breath through the nostrils, out through the mouth. So all these exercises, we're inhaling through the nostrils. Exhale out through the mouth. We're discharging. We're pumping ourselves full of positive chi and exhaling out stagnation and heat. Just relax into it. Go slow at your own pace. Don't keep up with me. Go at your own pace. It's not fast. Let's do one more. Pause. Look at the floor. Inhaling, lifting up with the breath opposite direction. Exhale out through the mouth as you come down. Let's do one more. Inhaling, lifting head straight up. And just relax everything. Just let it go. And then we're going to do shoulder rolls forward. So I'm going to show you different positions. You just stand straight looking at me, but I'm going to do different positions so you can actually see what's going on at different angles. So I'm coming back, pinching my scapula and going up and forward, back, up and forward. And remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Anytime you're catching your breath, that means you're thinking too much. You're trying too hard. Just have fun. Lighten up. Reverse. Up, back and forward, up, back, and forward, and breathe, one more, 
Nice. Let's put your hands on your hips it's for hip rotations. Get your outer rim. Go as far wide, the big circle as you can. And then reverse it. <clears throat> this is where we sit all day, especially now, or drive, or sleep. We need to open up the pelvis down and get the blood and limbs flowing down into the feet, especially if you have cold feet, this will help. Nice. And then there's another move I forgot to do before the sequence is small circles. So have your arm right here. And then when you feel physically comfortable, allow them to flail and hinge at the shoulder. And then reverse, opening. Breathing. Nice. Let's put our feet together, palms on knees for support, knee rotation. <clears throat> and then opposite direction. Nice. And we're going to tap the left foot nine times, the whole foot, to get the bubbling springs, kidney one point on the bottom of the foot, and then the right side of the foot. This will activate the chi and start opening up the channels down below. Ready? One. Nine. Ready? One. Nine. Things are, things are falling. <laughs> okay, so this is a little balancing act. This is going to engage your left and right hemisphere. And it's really good for the joints. So I like to fixate on a point so I keep my balance right in front of me. So lift up a leg, rotate an ankle, and then opposite direction. And then hip rotating in. And then hip rotating out. Nice, other side, same thing. Ankle. Opposite direction. And then hip rotating in. And then hip rotating out, opening up the hip. Nice. Palms together, Buddha splashes face, you keep contact with your hands at all times. So open up to the face, keep, the, to keep it together. The back of the hands to the wrist if you physically can do it. Instead of this, go all the way. And you squeeze in because it's pumping the lymph. Down, the midline. Up, back to prayer. Splash face, come down. Up, roll your hands, splash face. So you're picking up the water, splashing your face. Inhale as you come up, exhale, squeeze as you come down. This is lubricating and opening the gates, which are the joints, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, the lungs, and the lymph. Let's do one more. Back to prayer. This side, this time opposite direction, this time facing out. Up the midline, squeeze, inhaling up, back to prayer, out. Out, take that deep dive out into the unknown. I like that, into the unknown. The mind always needs to know what's going on to feel safe. That's the crazy making. That's the mind virus, actually. Be in wonder. Be in the moment. Be in the flow. Last one. Nice. And then we're going to do the finger meridians. So just notice how your fingers feel right now before, and then we'll do an after on each hand. So take your middle finger, forefinger, and thumb for support in front of you like this, your thumb on top of your forefinger, 
You go from the base to the tip of the finger, back and forth, with enough pressure where you're not stuck, but enough pressure to give it some friction, back and forth, back and forth, and off the tip. Off the tip. Keep going. And remember to breathe. If you're not breathing, you're thinking too much. Let that shit go. Then notice that hand you just did, and notice this one. So that's the microcosmo. We're going to do the macro, the whole body. And that's what you're going to feel. This more of an opening and chi and blood and lymph and flow. And you're going to feel fucking great, man, after this. Especially after we do the six healing sounds. Other side. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Let's do... Um, Let's do two more movements. Let's do uh, a little tapping. So get a wide stance, because you're gonna come inside the inner thighs off the pelvis, right? So we're gonna open up the six lower uh, meridians, and then we're gonna do the upper six, the pairs. So this one looks like you will inhale, you can open, I would, I would say for beginners do palms, so I'm gonna show you and then we'll do it together. So inhale, Exhale, and you're going to smack as low as you can, not on the spine, but on each side of the spine, as low as you can by the tailbone. And as your hands come up, you stand up. So as I'm hitting, my hands are coming up, tapping up. I stand up, bend my knees to relax my lower back. And I'm hitting the back where the kidneys are at. And then the side of the hips coming down the gallbladder. This way it's safe because if you hit your bones, it won't hurt. But if you're more advanced, you've been doing this with me for a while, do the fist because you can really get in there more direct and you can bypass the bones because you know your body by now. Come down to the ankle lightly inside the ankle. That's the kidney, this is the spleen, this is the liver. And then right here where the lymphs meet, we're coming together, we get the nose and the lymphs and we open that up and start to move that stagnation. And then the stomach. We're just going to do three of them. Ready? Inhale. Exhale, tap. As your hands come up, stand up, bend your knees, look over back, side of the hips, side of the legs. This is a bladder meridian coming up, the kidney, gallbladder. Stomach, UB, kidney, spleen, liver, lymph. Let's do one more. <sighs> Tap harder and longer in each spot. Slight sweat, that means it's working. And I am sweating, so I'll open the door. And have a little chaga. Hmm. Okay, let's do the upper half, the upper six. So put out an arm, preferably the left. I don't know how it is on the, the video, I haven't figured that out yet. This might look like a right side view, but it's a left. Take your right hand, start smacking on top of your hand, your forearm your shoulder. Turn your arm over, come down. Other side, same thing. Now go at your own pace, pick it up, and smack as hard as you can handle it, because it's waking up that chi, moving stagnation. If you do it lightly, it's not really doing much like this, unless you have something physical going on. I recommend giving it to yourself, especially if you have long sleeves. Finish. 
and we're going to do two things that we didn't do. We're going to smooth it out, coming up the arm and down the arm. Fast, three times. The other side, same thing. Just helps with the flows a little bit better. We're going to do the, the legs as well. Let's come, come by behind the legs, inside the thighs, off the pelvis, fast, three times. And the reason why in that direction, that's how the chi flows. That's how the meridians flow. So everything is flowing in that direction. We're smoothing it out. Okay, let's do uh, a little shaking. So you wake and shake. And this is get anything that might be left. So find your own shake, get creative. You're bouncing elbow, shoulders, neck. If you move your neck, you won't think as much either. Move your head. And bouncing the knees. Slow, deep breaths and out through the mouth. <sighs> your arms up. <sighs> breathe. <sighs> you gotta breathe, man. Pump that chi in your body. Get some fresh oxygen. Keep the windows open if you're indoors, outside. Just breathe. Pump it, pump it, pump it. <sighs> Out through the mouth. Let go of that heat, stagnation, staleness, CO2, acid forming stuff. Just let it go and alkalize. <sighs> Fifteen seconds. Shake it. How you do one thing in life is how you do everything. If you're just doing this, that's how you show up in life. Just kind of half-ass, kind of doing it. Get into it. Move it or lose it. So the heart rate is up. So don't stop. Just slow it down little by little by little. Anytime you ever feel any time you feel dizzy, you know, to the point of maybe even blacking out or falling down, just slow down or stop because it's just too much prana, too much into the brain and it takes time to work up to that. Okay, so the last move is your own personal move. Move how your body's feeling, what's intuitive. What didn't we, didn't, what did we, what, 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 blah, blah, blah. what didn't we do today? So one thing that we didn't do today is you could do a side bend, get the ribs. Find your own moving groove. Here, I got one for us. Let's do this one. This one's a good one. Come down. You can either do it like this, but if you can do all the way with flat feet, get down. And for an extra curriculum, put your elbows in your thighs, open them up, prayer, keep your spine straight, and just relax and melt it to it. Yeah, we're gonna do a couple more moves and then we'll do the Qigong. Actually, this is one of my favorite ones. It just feels really good in the thighs. This actually strengthens the digestive tract, the kidneys and bladder. Let's do, um, we're going to do two more moves. I, I want to do, I want to put it into the, uh, get on all fours for your cat cow. So you do your spine, undulating your spine, opening up the spine and allowing the cerebral spinal fluid, the limbs and blood and the meridians open. Okay. So go at your own pace. We're just going to do a few of these. Three more. And on your last one, after you do it, go into a downward dog. Walk your feet up towards your hands, interlock your arms for a lower back stretch. 
Keep your neck and head down, dangling. Hands on thigh, rolling up each vertebrae slowly. Eventually your hands behind your lower back for a reverse stretch. Nice. Okay, you're gonna take a moment here. Get some water, get your tea, go to the bathroom. We'll just take one minute. Ah. <clears throat> Wow, it turned out to be beautiful outside. The sun's out. Okay. All right, folks, we're ready to do some Qigong. So again, as I mentioned earlier, for those that didn't hear it, is this is a particular Qigong I haven't taught probably in five years. And I just feel like it's it's time because it's a deep emotional release Qigong. There's thousands of styles of Qigong and they all have their purpose and they're all derived from nature, the elements, from animals. And the three branches of Qigong is the medical Qigong where people are actually doing healing work on people. And then you have your own Qigong for your own protective Wei Qi, which is your own energetic body of creating health and vitality from sicknesses and illnesses and negativity and then there's an actually a spiritual aspect to qigong so my senses which i haven't done them all of course that they're all weaved in and they all have elements of that each one of them and yet there's schools that just medical qigong and spiritual qigong like fallen dafa and then also overall all the qigongs are self-healing so this one is all three to me especially what it's made for is to release heat toxic emotion that's stuck in each organ and each organ has an element a color a sound a direction um, and it has a negative emotion which is trapped and then we're going to transform those negative emotions into a positive emotion so end the looping cycle and you'll feel some freedom and in doing these, you might burp, you might yawn, you might tear, you might even laugh, and you might feel dizzy, you might feel faint, you might feel tired. So this particular practice, you could do standing up. I'll do both versions. And those that can't stand very long or can't stand at all that need a wheelchair or chairs, we'll do a chair. I'll show you both ways. So this is gonna be done anywhere, anytime. And this has to base on the five elements. This is called Six Healing Sounds, and I learned this many years ago with Montak Chia. And there's a constructive cycle of five elements, and there's destructive, mainly for martial arts, your destructive part, like metal chops wood. So you have to know your martial arts, what goes in to eliminate the other element. But what we're doing today is a positive, uplifting, building, constructive healing Five elements where they feed into each other so today we're gonna to go into we're gonna start off in the wood the element of wood which is the organ is liver it's springtime and has to relate to the eyes so uh, and, and the negative emotion that gets trapped is frustration anger resentment deceiving and that gets stored in the liver. So this is my right side. So for the ca for the camera, I'm not sure still how that works because it's still new to me. But this is my right side. So the liver is, sits underneath the rib cage and comes up above the rib cage a few. So this is whole area. And right at the last rib is you push in, just fill in there gently. Don't over push. Go in a little deep enough, and you might feel it tight. You might feel it hard. That means there's congestion, there's trapped emotions, there's toxicity, and the liver's having a hard time just cleansing that. So what we're gonna do to get today with all these different organs 
is help help it do its functions by releasing the stagnation and getting the blood and the lymph the chi flowing into the organs and so we're going to use color that's a tonifying and building and we're going to use sound and breath as a yang as a destructive just get in in there and break it up and move it and so the um, the sound and the breath will help move and discharge the trapped emotion and the visualization and the color will help tonify and soothe and expand each organ and it just it'll start to feel yummy <clears throat> so we're gonna go from the liver which is the wood and the wood feeds fire so that's the constructive cycle and then we go into the heart which is the red color and the, and the liver is green by the way and the red and we're going to transform um, stuck energy of hatred self-hatred hatred of others jealousy uh, hurt feelings you know and hurt you know like just oh that stab in the heart the devastation we're going to move, transform those energies, known or unknown, in this lifetime. All these organs, known or unknown. Just the intention of doing it will help move the stagnation out. And then we're going to transform those negative, all the negative emotions. Because that's a looping cycle in the mind. It's, the, it's like, fuck, am I crazy? What's going on? Is it me? It's not you. It's just toxic. So we're doing a detoxification of that. And you'll feel some relief or if not a lot of relief, and you'll notice that throughout the day, especially the next day. And remember to drink lots of water at the end to help move that out, because we're gonna discharge energetics, but also physical stuff will come through. And so we're gonna transfer that into, of course, love, joy, happiness, peace. So out from the fire burns the wood for fuel, and out from the fire becomes ash. So we go into earth, we go into the stomach, we go in the spleen and pancreas. And this is an Indian summer. So we go from spring liver, summer, heart, and then we go into Indian summer, which is a yellow in color, which is um, the negative. Oh, I guess we got disconnected for a second. So we're going to transform those in negative emotions into you got this. You know, it's like Mother Earth's got you. You're, you're centered, you're in your body, you're groundedness. And doing the release of the negative emotions, you come into more of your knowing. Because this is our gut. This is our, they say, second brain. It's really our first brain. You know, this is where we get the uh-huh, uh-uh. This is where we know. So this will help open that space up to get more um, breath, more a pause, more of an action rather than a reaction, like from a head state of an attack or defense you drop into your body and then you have more relief so that's that's that piece <clears throat> so i'm going through all these pieces and then we'll do the exercises so out from the ash creates an element of metal so metal is the lungs and it's white in color and this is a fall season and we're going to transform the negative emotion Negative means not, you know, it's bad, but it's not bad, like bad. It just means it's just stuck energy trying to find a way to move through. You know, it's just a release. It's like doing uh, a liver cleanse or a colonic or plunging your toilet, just moving that shit that just backs up. And so when it backs up, this has been done through TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, through many thousands of years. And they researched how these different organs affect the mind and then it affects the emotional state and health and well-being and your immune system. And so by regulating the systems, the body, then you're at a peaceful, humble, non-reactive state. So we're gonna transform this worry, not worry, that was the spleen. We're gonna transform the, the loss, the um, sadness, the grief, just the, oh, the caving in, the ah, oh. into courage, opening it up, that you got this, you can do this. Okay? So that's the positive. So out from the metal, the metal can melt and become liquid. 
and then we go into the kidneys. And the kidneys is winter. And the kidneys color is a dark blue energy. Very dark, it's a black. It could be black or dark, dark, dark blue. I like dark, dark blue. It's weird, it's like has a pigment of a little bluish. But it's super dark because that's the depth, that's the deep, that's the unknown. That's where the visible light can't go down in the very deep waters. And so the negative trapped emotion of that is shock, traumatized, you know, just like hit with something and layers and layers of trauma that we've all had so minute to the large traumas from death, loss, just shock. That's another one. So you have shock, the trauma, the fear, and those tighten up and get crunchy too. So we're going to open that and allow them to breathe more and feel safer in the body and safer in life. So we have all these organs working. They all work together in an interrelational community within your being. <clears throat> so that's your family right there. Keep one of them happy and it'll keep you happy. So this one, we're going to, um, the kidneys, we're going to translate the, uh, negative emotion to the positive of the shock, trauma, fear, into gentleness, self-compassion, okay? And <clears throat> they all have a sound. <clears throat> so <clears throat> need a little chaga tea. <clears throat> Tastes so good. If you've never had chaga, I highly recommend it especially its healing properties. Okay, so let's begin. So the first element is wood, which is the liver, the right side. You know, if it looks like the left side, go to the right side for you. This is my liver on the right side of the rib cage. <clears throat> and just feel in there with your fingertips and kind of go into the underneath the rib cage a little bit, the last rib cage, and just kind of... So again, You'll notice you might yawn, you might burp, you might cry, you might just tear, you might laugh, you might see visual stuff popping up from the past that you've forgotten, and you're like, whoa, a memory. These are all stored emotions, thought forms, that are releasing through however it means. So we're just knocking on the door saying hello, and just activating the liver, letting it know it's getting ready, just like... When you smell your food, you're getting your stomach ready for the food to digest instead of just gulping it down. It's like when you do nice pura teas, you smell the teas and it just activates another part of the senses. So we're activating part of the senses because it knows it's getting ready and prepared to release. Okay, once we do that for a moment, <clears throat> the healing sound is S H H H H. So when you do all these different sounds that we're going to do for all the organs, it's releasing the heat that's trapped because there is a membrane around each organ and the membrane is a protective like heat shroud. And over time through uh, toxins, through environment, through especially uh, emotions and stress, it gets stuck around the organ. And that's why cardiologists, you can Google it, they find a lot of people with heart attacks, their heart is fried, it's cooked. Why is that? Because there's this prote protective membrane that protects it for allowing the heat to transfer out of the organ. And if it gets stuck on there, the heat can't leave and it cooks and then it creates irritation and then it creates the, the looping of the cycle of the emotion which goes in the mind and it creates all these stories and projections on yourself and other people. So I just love this one. I love this one. This one's amazing. So anyways, <clears throat> the sound is shh. And each physical movement is putting stress on the organ. And the sound goes in and vibrates in there. It's a certain vibration that helps open it up. And then the heat out of the mouth and the emotion out of the mouth. So you give it. We're going to breathe in fresh prana chi mana life force. And then exhale out knowing and or unknowing any of that trauma around uh, unkindness, uh, resentment towards others, anger, known or unknown, just the intention, it, it'll do it, it has its own, because the body never forgets what the mind's forgotten, so just trust that, okay? 
So how it looks like is lock your fingers together in front of you. I'm going to show a different position so you guys can get this. Inhaling up. I'm going to do it slow. And then you go to your left because I'm putting stress on my right side. This is my right side. This is my liver. And if I'm stretching, it's putting elongation, a, a stress point. Some of these are going to be squeezing in. Some are going to be elongating. And we're elongating this to the left, all right? And then we do so, your eyes are always open because in the eyes, it's discharging stagnation and chi. If your eyes are closed, you keep it inside. You want to have your eyes open and look always and in the breath. So I'm setting you up for all these exercises. I'm not going to repeat all this for each organ. So this is the foundation. <clears throat> Again, inhaling up, looking up, bend to the left and say, shh. Once your breath is completely gone, shh, you can't breathe it out anymore. Let go of your fingers, straighten up, inhaling, exhaling into the liver. And I like to bend my head, my neck down just slightly because it brings my consciousness intentionally in each organ. So we're doing the liver. I'm looking down in my third eye. We release it with the eyes open. Shh, and then we close our eyes and we rock back and forth like rocking a baby, left to right slowly. Sending love and sending the green translucent vibration into the liver. As you rock back and forth. And there's a pair for each organ as well. And the, the liver has the, the gallbladder. There's the yin and yang of each organ. One holds and one releases. But uh, I wanna keep it simple for you guys. So just go into the liver and you're smiling with a slight smile physically on your face. And as you look down at your liver, you're smiling at your liver like your little baby, your puppy, your little boy or girl. Just You're just like holding on, sending love, smiling in. And then you're starting to see the liver with a smile back. It's just thanking you. So just start to see that, start to feel that, start to believe that. Because wherever your thoughts go, energy flows, chi flows. And wherever chi flows, blood flows. And that's where you manifest. So you can create and manifest illnesses and health. So just by going into the mere fact of intentionality and attention with direction, you can direct the chi and manifest a healing liver and releasing the negative emotion and toxins. So as you're rocking left, right, slow, and with a slight smile on your face, and your head kind of down, and as you breathe in, you exhale this translucent green energy in the liver, and in your mind or out loud, you're saying thank you for all the functions that you do 24 seven for this body, for this life. Thank you, thank you, thank you and you give gratitude and you get acknowledgement. How many times you ever gave acknowledgement to your liver? You might have a thought about it like, oh shit, you know, it hurts or, you know, maybe I need a liver cleanse. But how, how often have you ever had an intimate relationship with an organ, any of your organs? This is what we're doing today. You're creating an intimacy, intimacy. So we're going to do three more breaths, inhaling this translucent green energy. Exhaling it into the liver, coating it, vibrating it, the vibration with this frequency that's love and above. Giving thanks, smiling in as it's smiling back. It's called the inner smile work as well. And then you drop your hands. We're going to do two more. Put your fingers again. Inhaling up. Full breath and then stretch to the left, looking up with your eyes open, and then shh. Inhaling as you come down. Exhale, green, translucent, rock back and forth. Eyes closed now, smiling in, smiling back. I'm going to talk less and less. I'm just, guys, getting you geared up because I want you to be able to drop in and feel and not be mental with this. Hmm. Sending kindness. And 
on the next inhale exhale drop your hands and so when we do this we're gonna do let's do yeah we'll do this one more for time's sake so we're gonna do we're gonna inhale again and as you exhale thinking letting go of resentment anger regardless if you remember or not just the intention and then as you come down you're inhaling kindness to yourself to your lover okay take a deep inhale at the top stretch to the left look up exhale Shh. inhale exhale And overall theme is loving self-compassion for your, all your organs. That's the overall theme. And on the next inhale, exhale, slow up your eyes and just rub your liver, thanking it for all the functions that it does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's the liver. How are you guys feeling right now? Uh, before we complete it on the next exit and the next um, element. You guys feel a little dizzy? You know, it's nice to get some feedback so I know where everybody's at. And uh, you guys feel lightheaded? Do you feel elated? Do you feel calmer? Do you feel spacey? Those are all signs of release. Yawning, burping. Okay, so we're going to go from the, woods, the wood element into the fire element, the heart. And this is the same exact movement, but the opposite direction. And the sound is H-A-W-W. -W. It's, it's not a ha, it's a breathy. Because this one you're going to really feel the heat leave. So this one looks like this as you inhale. This time to the right, stretching straight up. Same exercise, but opposite direction. So this one we're going to transform jealousy, hatred, hurt feelings, you know, devastation, breakups. Uh, uh, uh. And we're going to just move that shit out of the heart that no longer serves you. It's, you've been punished enough. And then we're going to bring in joy, peace, happiness, love, self-love. Okay. And this is a a red translucent color brightening its pair organ is the small intestine and um, yeah so let's do that together so grasp your fingers your palms in front of you okay inhaling up on your top of your breath stretch to your right getting the heart stretched right here to the right side exhale ha h-a-w-w The last part of your breath come down inhaling exhaling into your heart rock back and forth close your eyes bend down with your neck a little bit into your heart if you're looking straight it's 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 harder to drop in if you drop your head you have more of a direct connection to that organ it just sends the intention and as you're rocking back and forth breathing in normally in and out you're coating, you're inhaling this translucent red, bright frequency energy of the lo highest love. And it's melting, discharging, evaporating, whatever method, whatever thought, whatever envision that you see help you, whatever metaphor to help release the tension, the heat, the negative emotion. And now you're coating it with this new vibration, this this expanded version of you that's who you are that you're coming into this love and again drop your hands down grasp the hands inhaling up exhale inhaling 
Looking down, exhale, close your eyes. Smile with the physical smile. Smile with the energy smile into the heart. Seeing your heart smile back at you, giving you thanks for helping it, for acknowledging it, for including it. And you're giving thanks for all the functions that it does 24 hours a day, seven days a week keeping this body alive, keeping this body functioning. And now we're helping it distress some of these trapped emotions and toxins, if not a lot. So just rock back and forth, gent you know, it's rock it by baby, gentle. And again, drop your hands to your side. Do one more. Grasp your hands, inhaling up. Stretch. Send, sending positive, loving, high vibrational frequencies of the red chi into the heart vibrating, instilling it, infusing it with more joy, more calmness and peace and happiness and love. inhale exhale just relax <sighs> how you find how you guys feeling now I'd like to hear your comments now or after when when, when, when I uh, when we jump off just be nice to hear where everybody's at so I understand the flows of uh, where everybody's at I'm feeling pretty high right now I don't know about you I'm pretty spacey so I know I'm releasing energetic stuff I haven't done this one it's like saging your house taking a shower walking in nature Qigong is another method of purifying, especially self-purifying internally. Okay, so we did the wood. We did the fire. And now we're going into the ash. We're going into earth. We're going to go in the stomach, spleen, which is underneath the left rib cage. So this is the left side for me on the film and the pancreas, they're all interrelated. And this is Indian summer, this is the yellow in color. This is the frequency of yellow. <clears throat> and they're all translucent. So it's bright, translucent, beautiful colors. And the trapped negative emotion that you can get looped in is worry, anxiety, um, uncentered, ungroundedness, uncenteredness, just out of sort, out of your body. The positive emotion will release that as we bring in the color, the frequency, the tonification of that is centeredness, groundedness, rootedness, safety. This is our first brain. This is just wash on, wash off, brush your teeth, time to go to sleep. This is your power. This is your intuitive. But most of us only breathe in our, our upper chest, not even the middle or the lower. Very few people breathe down in the belly. And when you breathe down the belly, you go more into the, the polyvagal system, which is the whole nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. So you get in more of a parasympathetic rather than the fight or flight. We're calming and the rest and digest. So as you breathe in your belly, it expands and extracts and con contracts and expands. You start to calm down, lower the cortisol levels. And then you come from action from the centered knowing state rather than reaction and scared or just protection, primal protector ego, because that's all we've known. And so by calming down, you can come into your center and walk with confidence, walk with knowing. So the positive emotion is confidence, centeredness, groundedness, rootedness, knowingness that you got this, okay? So let's do this. <clears throat> So, oh, you know what? I didn't show you the sit down forms. So, I'm sorry. So, before we go into the next one, I'm just gonna show you really quickly the, the liver one. The liver one, when we did like this, you sit down, you go to the left, and you do the shh. 
And then the heart, same thing, up. So you can sit down and do these as well. And now we're going into the stomach, spleen, and pancreas. I'll continue this way, and then I'll stand up and show you the other version. So there's two ways to do the modification on this. So as we go into the stomach, spleen, and pancreas, you take a you take an inhale and put your put your fingertips right underneath the last rib on your left side, and now connect with that. And I forgot to mention to connect. We, we didn't. We I forgot to mention to connect with this. Like I said, I haven't taught this in five years, so there's some pieces I forgot to tell you. So it's just you know before we go here, let's just say thank you to the heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rub it, gentle. Yeah. Now we go down to the spleen, pancreas, and the stomach region. It's all connected. And just kind of touch all around your stomach, getting it ready, getting it activated, getting the intention, the intent, the attention there. So this is an Indian summer color is yellow. And the negative emotions, worry, anxiety, stress, like that. And we're going to transform it into knowing, basically, and groundedness, and you're embodied, and you're walking with all knowing. And the sound for this is a guttural who, or wo, w h o a, or w h o o o, and it's guttural, like ooh, almost like the the monks who do the throat stuff, but. It's not in the throat necessarily. You want to bring the vibration here. And then to help you is you push in, take a deep breath. I'm going to show you once and then we'll do it together. And you come down and I put my wrists and my forearms on my knees for support to help push in. And you push in right at your edge. Don't push in too hard where you hurt yourself. Just push in where there's enough pressure. And then you let, and you look forward. Don't look at the ground. Look forward. Oh. And then as we inhale, and then exhale, and then look down, and we rock back and forth. So the standing pose looks like this. Fingers underneath the rib cage, the left side where the spleen pancreas is. And you take a deep inhale, and you bend over. Oh. At the last part of your breath, you inhale. So from here, exhale. Okay, we're gonna do three rounds of this. So on the exhale, with the intention to move out any stresses of anxiety and worry. That's, that's, there's more, but those are the main ones. And then we're gonna rock into the spleen, pancreas, stomach, this vibrant golden translucent yellow color. I mean, it's golden yellow. It's beautiful, and you're looking down, and each organ is smiling at you, and you're smiling down, okay? So we're getting worked up to it. Okay, so again, you can do it sitting down or standing up. I'm gonna do it standing up. You guys ready? Fingertips underneath the left rib cage. Get prepared. Let out your breath. <sighs> Inhaling. Bending over. Still a little too too deep. Inhaling, exhale. Looking down, rocking back and forth. Eyes are closed. Slight smile on the face. Smiling into your stomach, spleen, pancreas. Seeing them smiling back at you, and gratitude for both. They're thanking you for finally seeing them and helping them. And you're smiling down, and gratitude for all the functions that it does 24/7. And it's coating and vibrating and translucent energy just coming in and just filling you up, raising the frequency, thus eliminating, dissolving those old frequencies that no longer serve you. That was the past. This is the now. We're moving forward. So again, take a nice inhale. And just relax. And these exercises, I normally do six to nine times, but for today's sake, for time, I'm just doing three. But try it. 
try it, you know, watch the video again and, and go over it and try it six times and see what happens. <laughs> okay, again, take a big inhale, exhale, let it all out. Now, big inhale again, and then bend over, push in. Exhale. Next inhale, exhale, relax. We're going to do one more. So again, exhaling the stresses of worry, anxiety, this underlying thing that's been running you. Let that shit go. And then we're going to tonify, infuse this frequency of knowing that it's um, embodied, you're anchored in, okay? Put your fingers underneath your left rib cage. Get ready to push in on the out breath. Inhale. Exhale. All the way at the bottom. And then inhale again, big. And then push in and bend over. Next inhale, exhale, just relax. How's that for you guys? And then uh, I'd love to hear back on the comments which one had had the most impact on you and how and why and what, what came up for you. If you'd like to share, that would be awesome. A little more tea. <clears throat> okay, so out from the ash becomes the element metal. Okay, this is the constructive cycle. So, the elements metal, the organ is the lungs, which is the large intestine pair, and its color is white, translucent, bright white. And this is a particular good one, what's going on today, especially those impasse that really fill the planet. The negative impact of the trapped emotion is sadness and grief and loss and this oh, caving in. And what we're going to do is we're going to transmute those energies into courage that you got this, that you just like fucking got it, right? And uh, the healing sound to come in to vibrate, to break up those blockages is like the snake sound. It's a hissing with an SSSS. Breathies. And the physical movement looks like this. Pushing up the heavens. And your eyes are open because you're discharging the energy. If your eyes are closed, it keeps some of it trapped. We want to keep your eyes open. Letting the heat out, the trapped energy, the negative emotion of sadness and grief, known or unknown in this lifetime, any other lifetimes, it's just the intention that you're allowing it finally to release. It's okay. And after we release, come down, inhaling up, fresh prana, mana, life force, chi, white, translucent, beautiful, glowing energy into the lungs. And you rock back and forth with a little tilt down, looking at your lungs. Smiling into your lungs, your lungs are smiling back at you in gratitude and thankfulness, and you are too of all the functions that it does 24 7, regardless if you're unconscious, asleep, whatever, right? <laughs> or you're dead. So you're giving thanks for all the filtering it does. <sighs> okay, 
So <laughs> let's do it. Inhaling up. Exhale. Positive emotion is courage. You got this. You can do this. You got your own back. This is related to the skin, the way Chi filled. And then just slightly just stroke it, saying hello again and thanking it. And then again, let's put our hands down by our sides. Let's do one more. <clears throat> Inhaling up. Exhale. See, I have no breath left. exhale just rub your lungs giving it thanks thank you thank you thank you mm. so that's the lungs how you guys feeling on this one okay so and that was a fall season now we're going into winter the last element it's water and these are the kidneys the organs and the pair is the bladder this is the deep dark blue energy or dark black whatever you can see or perceive that helps you. And the kidney store shock, just fucking just like shock, traumas, layers of traumas we all have, physical, emotional, psychological, right? There's impacts. So we have a shock out of the body, trauma. It's not safe to be in this body and things clinch up. So all these different um, moves that we're doing, we're helping to soften more malleable, more loose, more watery, more flowing, more juice, more energy to flow through the organs. So you stay supple and young and, and vitality happening in your life force. So this one, oh, so again, for the sitting down of that last one, I'm sorry. So you can do the same thing. You know, it's pretty simple to modify it. Okay. So now for the kidneys back here. So this one, sitting down, is you put your hands on your knees or standing up, you inhale, you grab your knees and what you're doing is you're pushing into your knees, pushing and making it, again, every physical movement is putting some type of stretch or stress or pressure on the organ to activate it. And this one, we're pushing in, and this one's a who sound, W-H-O-O-O-O, -O -O -O. so it's Ooh, it's not guttural. So you inhale and push. And it's putting pushing pressure and the breath. So the breath and the physical pressure activates and releases the heat and the trapped emotion, the negative emotion of shock, trauma, fear. It's like, why would I want to go through that again? I got bit when I was a kid. Well, I didn't, I'm just metaphorically speaking. And now I'm an adult. I forgot all about it, but my body remembers and it's that same looking dog. It's like, how, you know, why do you want to go through life like that? So it's a trauma and the body never forget what the mind's forgotten. So what we're going to do is release those forgotten traumas, those fears. And this one's a big one for everybody. I mean, the last one too, and the, and the sadness and grief. Um, that's a huge one too. They're all they're all beautiful. They all and they all feed each other because if you have one blocked up, it affects the other. But one like acute in in it right now, I would say would be the kidneys. 
And even after you finish today with me, and there's one particular one, you don't have to do them all in order. If you just do one of them to keep the activation, because if you're going through a lot of shock and trauma and fear, then this kidney one would be good for you. If you're, if you're in a lot of sadness and grief of a loved one, or a breakup, um, you just do the lungs. You know? So each one has its own significance. Or do the whole practice, right? So again, the kidneys sitting down. You can put, put your knees on your on your this way or this way. I like doing it this way because I get more of a grip. I take a deep inhale, and then you exhale, push in, and then who? It's kind of a wispy, windy who. And at the end of it, you come up, and then you just inhale and hold your kidneys, and then we rock back and forth slowly, sending the the deep dark purifying translucent vibrational frequency highest as possible you could bring in through your uh your visualization and through your own feeling body and direct that chi that mana that life force that frequency into the kidneys and filling it up from the tightness of the fear the shock that you just exhaled and physically moved through now we're tonifying it and building it with the color and the intention and attention as you look down from left to right, smiling in, and they're smiling back in gratitude, and your gratitude for the 24 7 functions that it does of purifying and keeping your body going. Okay, let's do it. So, um, again, if you wanted to sit down, you could do this. I'll do one this way, and I'll do the rest standing up. So, put your hands on your knees, standing up, getting ready. And then when you take that big deep inhale, as you exhale, you push in and then whoosh, and look forward with the eyes always open at all these exercises. Okay, ready? Exhale. Whoosh. Exhale. You can rock back and forth, smiling in. Drop your neck, your head down, so you can visually, energetically, physically feel into your kidneys. And it's a slow rock, it's not fast. And this is giving you the positive emotion, which is gentleness, self-compassion. If you have gentleness for yourself, you have compassion for others. Or it's just about you, it's about me, it's, it's, it's not about we. And it's, it's playing small. And so this way we open up the kidneys, which opens up all of life again to experience without uh, the traumas affecting your present moment. And then again, just kind of like rub it a little bit, saying hello, tonifying it a little bit by rubbing it, give it acknowledgement, shake it a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to do the next two standing up. We're almost done. We have this one and then one last sound, which is not an element. We're doing the five healing sounds, but it's actually called six healing sounds because this one's a non-organ related. We'll get into that in a moment. So let's finish the last two. So hands on the knees, bent over. Inhale, exhale, push in and sound. Releasing the fear, known or unknown. Inhale. Exhale, delivering this dark, deep blue energy, smiling in, filling it up. Oh, this is so nice. And then just rub it again a little bit. I feel like this, this, this particular organ needs extra attention. And it, you know, to me, there is traditional lineage qigongs, which are fantastic, and I do a few of them, and I teach them. But over the years, the qi, the qi has been teaching me my own unique expression. And it's, there's a consciousness in it. Just like when you dance, you, you let go of how you're supposed to move. After a few minutes, you're into it. You just lose your mind, and your, your body's just moving you. And that's basically what this is about too. So I've added a few different things to this on top of what I've been learning. And I noticed Montak Chia over the years, he's 
transmuted the whole practice. There's the base of it, which is the elements and the organs and the colors and sound. But there's different attributes that changed over the years that I've seen him do it. And it made me look at it like, okay, there's traditional, boom, 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 rigid. And then there's the free-flowing art of life itself and the organicness of how life moves through you, how you show up in the moment. Let's do another one. I'll do this, I'll do this one sitting down. <clears throat> Hands on the knees, standing or sitting. Inhale. Exhale, push in. Exhale, rock. Smile. So if you notice you burp, or I burped, but if you burp or yawn, shake, tingle, twitch, laugh, cry, those are all forms of release or a visual, you might see something, an old memory, or a memory you don't even remember, like what's that? That's all part of the release. Mm. And then come back to center and just smooth it out. <sighs> Give me thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that's the five elements. We're going to do the last six healing sound. And this one's basically a triple warmer, which is the upper, the middle, and the lower. <clears throat> and this is a one I've been teaching in my Qigong practice, and I add this one in it because it's a... We did Yang Qigong, you know, through the open mouth and breath. We're going to calm down the Shen, down the mind, down the spirit even more to ground it before we end the practice for today. This is a good one. If you can't sleep, you lay in your bed, you can do this laying down. And so basically the form looks like this. That's the physical mechanics. And now I'm gonna add other texture to it, so build upon. So as you inhale, you're lifting up this cool blue yin energy, calming. Exhaling it down through the crown, around the body, pushing it down. Then you pause for a second. Because the mind, wherever your mind goes, chi flows. So if you do this and do that, it's too quick. You want to just calm for a second because the chi is still moving down the leg and it goes out through the bottom of the foot into the earth to be transmuted. So you're inhaling, exhaling, and you bend the knees as you come down. Inhaling up, exhale through the brain, through the organs, calming and cooling each organ down. And any stagnation, any thought forms that are no longer useful, known or unknown, any negativity, anything less than love, you're pushing it out. This is raising your frequency, your vibration. This is a chi shower, purifying internally and externally. So you inhale up. Exhale, bend the knees. Wherever your tension go, chi flows, blood flows. Pause at the end. So I'm going to add one more thing. It's the sound. So that's what makes this the six healing sounds, which is H-E-E-E. -E -E. It's a, it's a U-J-I, breathy he. It's not a physical he. It's a he. And you smile like the cobra, so it sounds like this. He. Because it opens up the sutras. It allows the cranial to open and expand and allow the heat to open and move. And it's allowed the heat to come out. And it's the triple warmer, which is allowing the different jowls, the different sections of the organs of the body to release this, any stresses, any tension, <clears throat> any heat. <clears throat> so this is a cool down. And then after this, we're done. <clears throat> Excuse me. I went way over today because I haven't taught this in so long. I forget the, the length of it. And I really talked more than I normally do so that's another thing so hopefully uh, you guys are bearing with it enjoying it okay so let's do this together so I'm gonna do it kind of loud so you can hear it and then the, the last so we're gonna do this probably a dozen times in the last 
doesn't, I'm not going to be as loud because it's more quieter. But I'm going to pronounce it so you hear it, so you know how it's done. Watch me and just feel the energy, feel the transference. Now do it and close your eyes. good indicator if you're spacing out <clears throat> not being present that means you're moving too fast slow down your movements timing with the breath and you'll stay present intention internal and you'll start to move this stagnation out even more and start to calm the mind smile like the cobra the h-e-e-e -E, and bend the knees as you come down Last one, this one you don't bend your knees. Ladies, left hand over right, men, right hand over left, over the lower down hand by your belly button, below your belly button. Close your eyes, go within, scan your body, your inner terrain, sense what you sense, feel what you feel <clears throat> without labeling. <clears throat> Next inhale, exhale slowly open the eyes. Isn't that very calming? So that's one you could do laying down before bed to help you sleep. Or if you're in the daytime, have, have the anxiety do uh, the spleen and do that. So namaste to all you people. Thank you for showing up. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one's been long overdue to teach. I love to hear your comments. It really helps me to teach, be a better teacher, to help you, serve you. And um, I'm going to keep these going on Saturdays, either in the park. It was uh, pretty cold, overcast, almost sprinkling, and so I didn't go there today. So I did it at my own place. But for the most part, if you want to show up on the Encinitas View Park on Saturdays, you can come join me or on in the comfort of your own home on Facebook Live. And um, I'm just going to keep teaching on Saturdays at this point. I teach on Mondays the Soul of Yoga at 7.30 in the morning. They do it on Zoom, so it's private. You have to be a member, so you might want to look into that. And also I do privates on Zoom. So if you want to do a more depth, more personalized, individ individualized for you, uh, get, contact me and PM me. It will set something up. And also I have a website that I created a while back. It's called Universal Qigong, C-H-I. There's a Q-I, but this is pr pronounced and spelled Qi, C-H-I. UniversalQigong.com. And what else? Um, yeah, just please leave comments because it's going to really help me. And I'll teach other stuff. So glad you guys are on the journey. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. Much love, blessings, and light. And just love yourself more. And... Um, be the light that you are and show up in the world.